As I reflected on the lessons that I've gained, I realized that we frame the environmental problem the wrong way. There is no environment out there, and we're here, and we've got to regulate our interaction with it. We are the environment. We are the environment. We are the environment. We don't think about air, but from the moment every one of us left our mother's body to the last gasp on our deathbed, we need air 15 to 40 times a minute. We breathe air deep into the most moist, warm, intimate parts of our bodies, and we fuse to the air. What intelligent creature, knowing the sacred role that air plays in the lives of creatures around the world, would proceed to use air as a toxic dump and think somehow it's going to be diluted away and everything will be fine? I calculate at my age that I have taken over 350 million breaths. That's one to four liters of air sucked deep into my body and filtered whatever was in it. The idea that we can use air then and it's going to go away is absurd. We are the air and what we do to the air. Fundamentally, our problem is that humans now do not see themselves as a part of the biosphere and utterly dependent on it. And it's that perception that indigenous people around the world have when they say, the earth is our mother. They don't mean that poetically or metaphorically. They mean it literally that we are created out of the most fundamental elements of the biosphere, the air, the water, the soil. And so we owe it to Mother Earth. What you do or do not do now is going to have enormous repercussions for your own children. There are scientists telling us now they might not even live to the end of this century. Why aren't you doing something? Why aren't you doing something? We are the air, and what we do to the air, we do directly to ourselves.